hi ladies and gentlemen good morning or good evening to everyone today we are going to achieve two desired output result first we have one input file in this input file we have to write the sequence number at the third position or third column based on the data available on the first byte on the first column you can see okay and we have to use the sort utility and in the output file you can see we have sequence number at the third column and like it is in incrementing order by plus one like that but in the sixth record you can see b character okay which is different than the a character okay so our sequence number is restarted again from one okay and then we have b in the seventh record then it will increase by plus one it will continue until we find another character like character c then here a uh, sequence number will restart again from one and in the 10th record it will see the same character c or same byte you can see then it will increase it by one so we have to achieve this kind of like sequence number using the sort utility and we have second uh, in the second we have one input file and in this input file we have seven record so using ice tool utility we have to count the number of number of records available label in input file okay so here you can see uh, we have a uh, output result in this full it is in this full or you can also print it in the uh, like in the file also okay and we have like record count and it we have like seven total number of record is seven so in the spool or in, we will get the seven only so first we have the ice tool utility to check the to check the number of records in file okay like here is the ice tool utility and we have in dd statement and this is the input file and this input file contain the seven records okay and in the tool in dd star in stream we have given the count from in dd statement means from this input file when we have submitted this job so we got the result in the tool message log of the spool and you can see we have given this in stream statement count from input file okay and after that you will also see the record count total record count what is the, it is a seven okay so by using ice tool utility and using this uh, in stream statement you can uh, check the total record count and like this is the flat file but you can also see the total record count for the vsem file also and tape file also and dash d file also okay any type of file like record count you can use the ice tool utility uh, then we have the sort utility to achieve the second result and in this we have one input file and the output file which is generating of the 80 byte okay and in the fixed format and then we have the sort field uh, equal to 1 comma 1 ch comma a so in this sys in dd uh, star in stream so sort field equal to like uh, it our output file will sort based on the first byte of character in the ascending order okay first it will sort the file sort the file based on this 
character like first crack first byte and then we have the out rack overlay overlay means our file will be overwritten overwritten uh, with the sequence number at the three position with the sequence number of first byte of one byte you can see and in the zone decimal format and it will start from the one and it will increase by one and restart one comma one means like our sequence number sequence number will restart will restart based on the first character first character of one byte of one byte okay so three you can see it's a starting position of the sequence number okay from in the output file like it will start from the this starting position and then sequence number num it is a keyword which specify like sequence number will be generated and an, uh, next one we have used it for the like uh, what will be the length of the sequence number okay so and next we have the zone decimal format like uh, for, it is used for format of the sequence number if we have given zone decimal then we will able to see the data I mean sequence number if you will give the b i o pack decimal so you will not be able to see see the sequence number in normal format but like if you want to see the pack, pack decimal so you can see it by the hexadecimal way only hexadecimal way only okay so uh, we have used here zone decimal so we will see the sequence number if you will use the bi and pd it will not be visible without the help of any tool like file aid tool okay so we have used here zone decimal then we have the start equal to j it means our sequence number will start from j instead of the one if we will not give the start equal to j it means our counter like our sequence number will start by default from one and we have used the increase equal to i so it means our sequence number will increase by i okay instead of the one and then we have the restart v comma m so it means sequence number will restart based on the data available at the p at the p position of m length okay so here is the like once we submitted this job so here you can see the input file and this is the output file in the output file you can see at the third position we have the sequence number so like what we discuss you can see here for the first five byte there is one two three four five but at the sixth record we got b character which is different than the a character so it will restart here again okay and then like we have the same character b b then it will increase by one okay then at the ninth record we have c character which is different than the b so it will like sequence number will restart here from one and then the c again then it will increase by one we have another example also like in this example we are sorting the data based on the first 10 character in the ascending order first okay then we are overwriting the sequence number at the 25th position uh, of two byte in the zone decimal format and our sequence number will start from five and it will increase by three okay and then we have the restart so our sequence number will restart based on the first 10 byte of first 10 byte okay so once we submit this job like you can see here is the input file and first 10 byte contain the ct okay ct name and then from the 16 position to 19 position it is the established year okay and at the 25 position we want the sequence number 
okay so once we submitted the job you can see uh, arizona 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 first like uh, this sort this sort uh, statement will sort the data and then the, this out track overlay will override the sequence number at the 25th so here you can see arizona arizona so uh, all three are same so here you can see first our sequence number will start from 5 so here you can see we have mentioned here 5 and it will increase by 5 5 by 3 sorry so you can see then it will increase by 3 then again it will increase by 3 then at the fourth record it's in california city which is different than the arizona so here our sequence number will restart from 5 again okay and then california again then california so here it will increase the sequence number by 3 then we have the new delhi so it is different than the california so here our counter will restart again then we have again new delhi so uh, it will increase by 3 but new genia come then here our restart will happen again okay so it will happen like it will be from 0 5 then we see in the 10th record we have the new york which is different city so our sequence number will restart again from 5 and then new york so then it will increase by 3 so this is the way we can achieve the sequence number like uh, so you understand the like restart parameter how we use restart parameter in sort thank you guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe to this channel